One of the problems with vectors is that there's many different ways of writing down the same thing. So if you go and look in a, a different textbook or you go and look at another video on YouTube, uh, you may have someone explaining exactly the same thing but writing it in a different way. Okay, so that is one of uh, the reasons why I've made these videos and one thing that we just need to be clear on when we're going into uh, learning about this topic. So I've shown you uh, some variations on, um, on notation in the sense of um, you could write a vector from O to A as A uh, underlined, or in a textbook you might see it as uh, kind of a bolded out version of A, but obviously we're not going to write uh, vectors like that. We'd write it like that if we were doing it by hand. But by type, uh, if I was typing it, I'd use that. So there are some different variations. But what I w really want to highlight in this video is that because we can write uh, vectors in this column format, and some people might use curve brackets rather than square brackets, Personally, I prefer the square brackets. Okay, it's all down to preference. Um, rather than writing it in column form like that, you can also write it in a component form. So, a synonymous component form for this is writing it as 2i plus 3j minus 4k. OK, so it's kind of like 2x plus 3y minus 4z in the sense that this is going in the x direction, that's in the y direction, that's in the z direction. But this i, j and k have themselves names. They are known as unit vectors. So i, j and k are unit vectors. OK, and... Um, by unit, I mean they have length 1. Okay, So they have length equal to 1 if they are a unit vector. Um, so these unit vectors, uh, otherwise referred to as base vectors, okay, um, how they work is that i uh, has the vector 1, 0, 0. So this is effectively two lots of the vector 1, 0, 0 plus three lots of 0, 1, 0 minus four lots of 0, 0, 1. Okay? Now, these are just alternative forms of the same thing. And depending on the question, you could be given a vector in this component form, or you could be given it in vector form. Okay. Now, when it's uh, in the body of a text, usually you would use this because it doesn't kind of take up as much space on the line. Okay. So it makes sense that you would use that format if you were writing like a whole paragraph of text. But if you had some space, then you would probably write it like that, OK? So there is a reason why you would write it that way. But in general, I'm going to be using vectors like that. But if you come across uh, vectors like this, don't worry. You could always convert them into these vectors, this vector form. Do all your maths in that, OK? And you'll get exactly the same answer, OK? So it's just a forewarning of not being too concerned if you see things looking slightly different.